Hello, I'm, I'm BJ Menon. Uh, I'm a stroke neurologist with the Calgary Stroke Program and the principal investigator for the Altiplase compared to Tenecteplase uh, trial, otherwise called the ACT trial. The ACT trial was a large pragmatic trial that we conducted throughout Canada with Alberta um, enrolling a significant chunk of patients. The trial enrolled 1,600 patients across Canada with 700 patients um, coming from Alberta. The trial was testing if uh, this thrombolytic agent tenecteplase that uh, cardiologists use in patients with acute MI could be used instead of this thrombolytic agent altiplase that we use for acute ischemic stroke. The reason for the trial is that tenecteplase is easy to administer. It can be given as a single bolus injection in comparison to altiplase, which requires a bolus and a one hour infusion, thus causing logistical problems with uh, transport of patients within and between hospitals, also potentially resulting in dosing errors and um, you know the need of infusion pumps and intravenous lines. Tenecteplase is easier to give and would therefore make workflow easier, faster and better. We started this trial late December 2019 and within two years we were able to enroll these 1,600 patients across Canada. At the end of the trial, we found that Tenecteplase was similar to Altiplase in terms of its efficacy as well as uh, with safety. In fact, if you actually look at the results, there are some trends that suggest that tenecteplase could potentially be slightly better. But given the distinct advantages of intravenous tenecteplase, which includes the bolus dose um, and the faster administration, that it is now common sense that we would actually switch over to tenecteplase as the thrombolytic agent of choice. The dose of tenecteplase though that we used in the trial was half the cardiac dose. The cardiac dose is 0.5 milligram per kilogram body weight. Uh, the dose that we used in uh, the ACT trial was 0.25 milligram per kilogram body weight, administered over 5 to 10 seconds intravenously. At the end of the trial, these results were shared with the community. The results are published in the journal Lancet and has resulted in uh, uh, this effort to translate into practice. And I see that happening both here in Alberta, across Canada and across the world. Thank you.